Gathered friends, listen again to our legend of the Bionicle. Hello everyone, it's Brian, and here on Amachinui Tales, we'll be looking into the various objects, tools, and vehicles that have driven the story of Bionicle. Today, we will travel the world using the Toa Canisters. Toa canisters are high-speed cylindrical transports used by Toa to transport across the entire Matoran universe and beyond. The canisters were equipped with sensors that directed the vehicles towards their destination based on the user's thoughts. They also had room for storage of items and weapons. These cylinders had the ability to turn intangible allowing users within the transports to move through obstacles and reach their destination with ease. For long trips, the canisters also had the ability to place users in suspended animation. It was considered dangerous for any users that were not as strong as Toa to travel in a canister. Toa canisters were built and placed throughout the entire Matoran universe whenever a Toa might need it. Usually, they were built in groups of six to reflect the six Toamata. It was said that the number of canisters in a group was never greater than six, since a seventh canister would hint at a time of darkness and the need for a Toa of Light. Canisters have played various roles throughout Bionicle history. During the early times, six canisters stored the Toamata within a sphere the Kodrex at the core of the universe, Kardanui. There, the Toa waited for many millennia in suspended animation. Right after the Great Cataclysm, the canisters were launched onto the ocean surface of Aqua Magna, where they wandered aimlessly due to a malfunction. Eventually, the Matoran, Takua, accidentally redirected the canisters to the island of Matanui by assembling Toa stones at the center of the island. After the island was left abandoned, a group of Skakti called the Paraka discovered the same canisters and used them to travel to another island, Voyanui. It was there when one of the Paraka salvaged the transports to create Xamar launchers. Before the Toamata arrived on Matanui, an agent of the secret order of Matanui traveled to the island by a canister to observe, but was soon killed by Makuta Teradax. This canister later allowed the half-being spawned by the Paraka, Vizon, to travel to Voyanui. The transformed Toamata, now called Toanuva, also went to Voyanui using canisters found beneath the city island of Metranui. In order to continue their journey to Voyanui, six Matoran took a risk and escaped the hellish realm of Karzani using canisters. Before arriving to their destination, lightning coming from the mysterious red star struck the canisters and transformed the travelers into the Toa Inika. Now Toa, the travelers were able to arrive on the island safely to continue their mission. If you'd like to see more tales, check out our channel and our videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is the way of the Bionicle.